on Monday morning and um, I don't think I could look more tired <laughs> while I'm kind of doing some skincare hair care stuff I'm gonna catch you up on the last 48 hours and then I also got these Korean speedy solution firming eye gel patches which we are gonna be putting on right now good lord Just take the wheel save my life how do you even open these? So, literally, oh, there's like two per. I can't even, like, start to explain how crazy getting home from Croatia was. As you guys know from my Rome vlog, my mom is a flight attendant for Delta, which means I fly standby. What that means is like if there's an empty seat, then I get it. Like for like a discounted rate. So you saw the last clip of me in the St. Regis bathroom in Rome. So we flew from Croatia to Rome. And then the plan was to spend the night in Rome, get the next flight out of Rome to JFK the next day, JFK to Raleigh. That was supposed to happen on what day? Yeah, Friday. So Friday, we left for Rome. So Saturday, we were supposed to fly out. So Saturday comes, we go to the airport in Rome. Everything is oversold. If you guys are big golf fans, you know that Saturday in Rome was the Ryder Cup. So there was just so many people in Rome and in the airport on Saturday. I'm going to put some of this day... Um, Hair treatment in by the way so yeah so I was in Rome trying to get out it was so packed in that airport just hung out in Rome all day trying to get on a flight just anywhere in America JFK Boston Atlanta whatever couldn't get on a flight and was like you know what it's just because Rome is so crazy because of the Ryder Cup so I bought a super expensive last minute ticket from Rome to Paris because the Paris flights looked a lot better to fly directly into Raleigh. So, Saturday night, I fly out to Paris, end up landing in Paris Saturday at like midnight, AKA like Sunday, 1 a.m. You following? I got a little airport hotel. I was about to say cheap, it wasn't. I'll insert a picture for like 500 euros. <laughs> I got this room from like literally like 1 a.m. in Paris to 6 a.m. Cut to 6 a.m. on Sunday. I get to my gate to go Paris to Salt Lake because all of a sudden the Raleigh flight was oversold. <clears throat> oversold. Don't make the Salt Lake flight. Don't make the Raleigh flight. I'm stuck in Paris. So Sunday morning, I was like, what am I going to do? Um, I've got to get back to the States. I have work today. I just like was like, I just have to buy a ticket at this point. Like, it's just getting to be a little ridiculous. Get online, get a $2,000 ticket to Dulles to then connect to Raleigh on United. So yeah, after missing those two flights on Sunday, I ended up just buying a ticket connecting through Dulles Airport to get me to Raleigh. Which by the way, another reason why everything was so oversold in Paris was because last week was Paris Fashion Week, or this past weekend. 
like I need to really do some research on these areas that I'm just flying into, you know? Got in last night at like 11.30 p.m. And now I'm coming at you live today. So pretty much I was stuck in the airport for like 48 hours. The standby life is so nice when it works out. Like literally I've flown to Europe so many times for like pretty much no money. So when it works out, it's great. But when it doesn't work out, you literally are just like, this could not be worse. Like I could not be having a worse time. I have a full work day to get into. Hence why I'm just doing like a big reset right now. I'm still trying to master the slick back look. <laughs> it's not working. So that was a little story time recap. Very chatty of getting home from Croatia. What I'm going to be filming this week's vlog is just a getting back on track, getting back into it. We're just going to be cooking some good meals, doing a lot of exercises, um, touring some houses, I think, actually. Just like doing all of that because I leave for Korea in two weeks. And I'm going to be in Korea for five days for work. So when I say like I need to get back on track, like I truly have to make the most of the next week because I'm here for no time at all before I have to leave again. So we are about to put on a little bit of makeup and then I will return back to you here. So welcome to this week's vlog. So excited. It is 7.04 a.m. here in small town, North Carolina. I just did a Sammy's Clark workout. I'll link it below. It was very hard. I have a pimple patch on, I don't know if you can see. It was very hard. I will definitely link that one because it just kicked my booty. Literally, it was booty. So, um, yeah. I didn't really talk to the camera last night. I ended up just working pretty late and then driving to my parents' house and having dinner. So just trying to get back on track. Finally, I did like all my laundry. I took all my clothes to the dry cleaners. Went for a run yesterday, did a workout today. I'm getting a facial this afternoon. We have another full work day today. I don't know how much I'm gonna show you. I think I'm gonna make a big thing of soup for dinner. So I'll show you that. But um, yeah, just a very, regular old week here in North Carolina. 
but let's go. Let's get this day started. Happy hump day. Well, I forgot to charge this camera. I'm so sorry, but I am making dinner right now and we're making soup together. I'm putting some golden potatoes in the water. I've got the cauliflower in the oven roasting with some fresh thyme on it. What I'm gonna do for dinner tonight is a little bar, if you will. So we're doing like a creamy cauliflower soup as the base with golden potatoes, garlic, thyme, a head of cauliflower, vegetable broth, all blended up to make it like a creamy soup. And then I'm doing some, so I got some fusilli to make that you can like add on top. This is like a build your own bowl kind of situation. So we got some fusilli. I got some baby bella mushrooms that I'm going to put in a saute pan with like a little bit of soy sauce. Then we got some chopped um, green onions. I got this really massive thing of kale. So I'm going to do kale chips. You can put on top and then i'm gonna do some crispy um chickpeas in the oven with some breadcrumbs so it's gonna be a full bar um i've just missed cooking so much because of being out of town obviously so anyways this camera's gonna die just checking in it's 4 35. i just was working all day so that's the update Happy Saturday. It's actually like Saturday at like 4 p.m. I'm getting ready to go to a birthday party. I wanna show you the little Mexican caviar I'm making. Monday, happy Columbus Day. It has been a minute since we've last checked in. I'm sorry, it's been just crazy weekend, um, you know, whatever. But the last you saw was going to Darcy's birthday party. So that was a lot of fun. Ended up just coming home and going to bed after that. I was gonna go out and go to Raleigh, but didn't. And then yesterday, I just went to church with my family, hung out, came up to Raleigh, and now we're in Raleigh. I wanted to end off this vlog by a good old fashioned in the car Sephora haul. I feel like it's been a minute since we've done one of these. Don't have a lot to show you, but we love a good Sephora haul. So I did get another one of these um, summer Let's see, Sunday Riley um, eye cream. So this is the Retinol Nacinamide Eye Serum. I bought this for the first time a couple of months ago and it's lasted a really long time. But I really did love this one. So if you're looking for a good eye cream, I've really tried them all. I tried the Ilia one. I've tried the Caudalie one. I tried the Ordinary one, I've tried, oh, the Inkist, Inklist eye cream, I've tried a lot of eye creams because I always get really bad zoom eyes because I work remote, and this one has definitely been my favorite. I haven't tried anything else by this brand yet, I really want to, but my friend Megan recommended me this one, so got that, loved it. I got another one of the Ilia Lip Wrap Reviving Balms, this is a really amazing lip gloss and it has a really good score on yucca so love that hold on somebody from work is calling me even though we have to stay off one second having a short discussions for a moment and it's been more about
Sorry. Anyways. Um, so yeah, this Ilia lip gloss is my favorite. I think I've gone through like nine of these tubes at this point. And I even like the applicator on here. Yeah. That's some good shit. Then the last thing I got is actually a gift for Darcy. I didn't have time to come get this before her birthday party, so I'm going to give it to her now. But this is such a great gift. It comes in this beautiful pretty box. This brand is called Gizu. It's by this um, influencer named Negan, and her family owns a bee farm outside of Amsterdam. And so it's a really great brand. This is hair oil, by the way. Um, so I've used this hair oil for so many years. I just love it. Um, I don't want to open it obviously cause I'm giving it as a gift, but if you need like a really good gift for just like a beauty girly or any just like girl, this is really nice cause it's like I said in a really pretty box and it's just like a tried and true product. So that is everything that I've got. I hope everyone enjoyed this vlog. I know it's been all over the place. I've just been trying to get back on track since coming back from Croatia. I'm leaving for Salt Lake City, Utah tomorrow. I'm flying out late tomorrow night. And I am leaving for Seoul, South Korea on Saturday. So, going to be vlogging that. It's going to be a really busy October. Um, I'm trying to buy a house. I just toured some houses this morning. Didn't like either one of them, honestly, at all. Didn't even like the area. Reconsidering everything. Um, so we're doing that. And then I'm going to Seoul, like I said. I'm going to London. I'm going to Denver, all for work in the next couple weeks. It's going to be wild. And then I have two different engagement parties coming up. Lots of holiday parties. I'm going to try to go visit Sydney in Hoboken, New Jersey. So we just have a lot happening the next couple of months. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, great chatting with you. Bye. <laughs>